Hi guys, welcome to NGG Tutes and in this video we are going to design this particular dashboard for uh, sales analysis for restaurant in Bangalore city. So first of all we will understand why we are going to develop this particular dashboard because it is quietly right said that once your why is perfect then your how will be easy. You can see many videos on YouTube okay for designing a particular dashboard okay but we are trying to uh, tell you that first we will understand why we are developing this particular dashboard. To whom we are developing this dashboard? To understand this, consider yourself as a particular person who wants to set up their own restaurant in a Bangalore city. Okay, why only Bangalore city? Because I am having the data set for Bangalore city that I have downloaded from Kaggle. How to download that? Definitely I will tell you. Okay, but let's consider yourself as that particular owner who wants to set up their own restaurants in Bangalore city. So what will be your approach to get maximum profit from your rest uh, restaurant? So first you will understand which type of restaurants are profitable in Bangalore city. Then which location is the most preferred location to set up a restaurant? Then which are the favorite cuisines of Bangalore people? Then how Bangalore people approach to the restaurant that is from booking online or from booking a table? Then uh, which are the top 10 restaurants that will who will be your competitors for uh, restaurant business? Okay, so to get the answer answers for all these questions, you make a survey and you will download certain data set for to get answers of all these questions. Let's consider you will get this particular data set. Now look at this data set. This is a huge data set CSV file which is around 750 MB and it contains if you scroll down you will go on scrolling it down because it contains more than 56,000 of rows and around 17 columns. Okay so but my point is what is the meaningful information that a normal person can get by looking at this particular huge amount of data. Definitely, it will take me hours to read this particular data. So what I will do? Better, I will approach a data analyst and I will tell them, take this data, take this particular data set and give me meaningful information to set up my restaurant in Bangalore. So you approach me and as a data analyst, I will give you this particular dashboard. Now let's understand what is the meaningful information that you will get to set up your restaurant. So. In this dashboard, first of all, the restaurant type. Okay, so first of all, let's understand this particular dashboard. In this dashboard, there are certain locations in Bangalore, there are certain cuisines, average bill amount, total votes, average rating, top 10 restaurants, and then book a table, online order, that means if a, a customer select a book a table, then what will be the effect, and this is the word cloud. So from this data set, from this particular dashboard, you will understand that these are the top 10 restaurants in Bangalore. Averagely, Bangalore people are spending around 600 rupees as, a, as their bill amount. Okay. And when I set up my restaurant is of type buffet, then once I select the buffet, then Bangalore people will send around 1300 rupees. Their average bill amount is 1300. Okay. And these are the top 10 restaurants for a particular category that is nothing but buffet. And this is the QC's work cloud for this buffet category. Let's say if I want to set up my lunch and dine out restaurant, then I'll select lunch and dine out. Okay. And if I select this, these are my cuisines workout and these are the top 10 restaurants. And for cuisines, uh, sorry, uh, for a dine out type of restaurant, Bangalore people are spending around 650 rupees. Okay. If I want to set up bar, pubs and bars, then this is the analysis for pubs and bar restaurant. Done. So from this, you will understand which type of restaurant you can set up in Bangalore. Next thing. Next thing is who will be your competitor? Then in this particular uh, restaurant category types, okay, there are, these are your top 10 competitors. Done. For example, in this particular competitor, if I select the topmost, that is uh, the first one is uh, the Black Pearl, right? Okay. So this is the analysis of Black Pearl. In Black Pearl restaurant, averagely people are spending around 1400 rupees. Their average bill amount is this much. Okay, then these are this is the rating and these are the total number of votes. Done. So this is about the restaurant types and your competitor. But if you are having a special safe or your specialty is a particular type of cuisine, let's say your specialty is a type of biryani, then let's select the biryani from here or you can type the biryani over here as well. 
so if i select the biryani then these are the top 10 restaurant if i select the first one that is donis biryani house then my average bill amount should be 261 if i select the next one that is bahros biryani then people are spending around 650 rupees for bahros biryani then and okay so that will be your competitor for a particular type of cuisine so why we are discussing all these things because we are getting the answers of our questions okay so by uh, selecting a particular restaurant type or by selecting a particular cuisines i am coming to know that my average bill amount must be this much now next question is which is the preferred location to set up my restaurant so for example if i select the let's say jp nagar from here okay so in jp nagar my average bill amount must be around 480 these are my top 10 competitors and which is the preferred cuisines around uh, jp nagar area that will be indian north indian then continental then chinese and done that's it that's it these are the most preferred cuisines okay if i select another location for example let's say mg road so in mg road you can see that along with indian and north indian and chinese food here people are preferring that is continental american as well as italian and cafe type of restaurants as well okay and don't forget to look over here in mg road you can uh, set your average bill amount around 8 uh, 830 okay so according to the location here you can select the cuisines that is the cuisines that is most preferred cuisines in that particular area and the price for that particular cuisines done and okay everything is done now what is this online order and book table let's understand what will happen when people approach to the restaurant by booking of the table so if i select yes over there then when bangalore people book a table before visiting a restaurant then they will spend around 1200 rupees okay but if they approach the restaurant directly that means without booking a table let's say no over here then they will spend around 800 480 rupees what does it mean it means that when you are setting up your restaurant you must provide certain facilities to book a table either through app or either through website okay and this particular analysis is important to set up a restaurant to get the maximum profit out of it and that is the job of data analyst i hope you got this i hope to design this particular dashboard from the huge data set is important now how can we set up or how can we design this beautiful dashboard definitely that we will understand now so welcome guys let's design this beautiful dashboard you here you can see that this particular dashboard consists of one slicer one two three there are three slicers believe me this one is also slicer though it's look like a set of button but it's a slicer one gauge for average bill amount there are four cards total votes average rating book a table and online order one column chart for showing top 10 restaurants and a word cloud okay basically this word cloud uh, is not a by default in power bi but definitely i will tell you how to include this word cloud by free of cost okay and a beautiful image in the background which suits that's nothing but a sales analysis for restaurant type but apart from all these visualizations all these visuals okay there is one of the most important thing behind this is nothing but a data okay so first of all we need to import the data we need to clean the data and then we can work on these visuals okay so let's open the power bi so yeah this is my power bi okay so first of all get the data get the data my data is in csv format so i include this particular csv this will take little time yeah okay the huge data is imported over here okay but uh, here you can see that there are certain columns that i really don't want to take care of for example uh, url address i don't want this column so let's transform the data so whenever you include your data into the power bi for you need to clean your data what does it mean transform the data or clean up the data first of all i don't need this column so let's remove this okay address column i don't want remove this yeah i need this name column online order yes i required book a table i required rate of course i required but 
here you can see guys uh, there is a certain green line and at the end there is certain black line what does it mean it means that when i hover the mouse over here here you can see there are 90 percent valid entry and 10 percent empty entries this will create a problem okay while creating a dashboard so let's remove the this empty entries so remove empty entries okay and then votes okay i don't uh, need phone numbers over here okay location restaurant type that's fine dishes like i don't want it okay then cuisines okay then approximate cost is okay yeah cuisines he 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 wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute restaurant types again there are certain empty entries i don't want it cuisines there are certain empty entries i don't want it okay so guys you can see that it's quite easy okay uh, reviews in list okay i don't need this column menu item i don't need this column listed in yeah i require this listed in city done 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 and just check it again yeah okay so at the initial level data looks good if anything uh, creates a problem we'll come back here again but right now just close and apply and move on to this power bi visuals so this will take a little time okay uh, depends on the speed of your computer okay so my data is loaded over here okay so now this is my page so on my page i require a beautiful background for example like this okay so i need this image okay i downloaded the image from uh, google so you can also do that okay so here this is the fields tab and this is the format tab so click on the format page background i want to change so what i want i want an image at the background so this is my image into the background okay oh why it's not showing over here because my transfer is 100 percent let's reduce it so this is the image i want this image into the full page okay so just fill it that's it so my page background is set now what is the next thing i want that's nothing but this slicer so just search the slicer over here yeah this is the slicer okay just click over here okay then a slicer is over here okay in slicer i want restaurant types in slicer so here the listed in yeah restaurant type okay here you can see that okay but this will look like a button and this is looks like certain check boxes so we need to take care over here so create the visualization selection control first of all yeah orientation must not be vertical orientation must be horizontal so it looks like a button okay and let's just adjust its size done is it looking good yeah it's looking good now okay then what is the next thing i want okay it's color title restaurant type so search the title over here title yeah by default title is off but we need to on the title and here i'm writing restaurant types okay and yeah my font color must be white okay guys you need to explore this field okay you need to explore uh, as you want okay it looks good okay let's alignment is little center and let's increase the font size to 18 yeah that looks good okay so is it looking good yeah so when i select this yeah okay buffet let's increase the font a little okay so again okay we need to create on this format tab and selection control then nothing into the selection control then uh, slicer of course mm, items okay front color background color what is the background color i want i want this background color like this so background color 
looks like this um, okay let's increase the size to size to 13 that's fine okay it looks good yeah it's looking good mm, yeah what else we want okay it's background ka, yeah it's look good mm, yeah font color must be dark black yeah now title background uh, background if i make it to transparency is 100 percent then it looks like this what i want yeah i want like this and uh, let's make certain changes over here okay so it looks like this mm, yeah done and of course a border let's have a certain border here you can see that a slightly a uh, brown color border over here so my border color oh first of all i need to on this and a border color let's change it to over here okay to make a curve a little okay so this is my border and of course a shadow uh little looking like the the one that we want yes i'll not take much of your time guys here you can explore the things and you can make more beautiful visualization than me done so so this is a slicer okay and uh, i want this slicer then i need a gauge for average bill amount okay so gauge so this is the gauge over here okay so so i select the gauge and gauge for average bill amount so guys uh, there is one ninja technique for this so again uh, for the god i need to again set up this all the visualizations part so better way what we will do i'll just uh, delete this visual and i just copy and paste this visual okay and now i'll select the gauge done so here you can see that I just need to change certain things. Okay, so for gauge, which field we want? The average bill amount. Okay, so the bill amount, where is the bill amount? Bill amount must be order location names, approximate cost. This is nothing but the bill amount. Okay, yeah, the bill amount, restaurant types. Uh, now let's, now let's, uh, create the visualization first of all i don't need this title as a uh, restaurant types it must be average bill amount average bill amount okay and then what is the next thing that we want okay and uh, yeah this 26 okay okay it must be in what white color this must be in white color okay then okay then data labels data labels data labels must be in good color okay so here you can see the data label okay let's increase the font of data label okay but here is the same 26 million 0 million 52 million because when i import this if i click over here here you can see that the sum of the bill amount i don't want the sum of bill amount i want the average done so it's 594 okay and uh, in general tab mm, we don't need to make changes gauge axis yeah the minimum must be zero and maximum must be let's say 2000 okay and uh, okay data colors data colors are this that's fine data labels are on 
okay uh, display units okay now this looks a uh, little good okay and uh, yes guys you can explore the, all these things what else is remain its border is little uh, yellow so background is good here border color is yellow okay what else we want uh, yeah that's it that's it now let's resize it okay and paste it over here okay done so my god is here what is the next thing we want the next thing we want is nothing but a total votes okay what is this this is nothing but a cards okay so our ninja technique let's copy and paste this over here and now select the visual card so card is here okay now in card what we want total votes okay so let's remove it from here and votes these are the votes okay these are the total votes are here okay so again we need to make certain visual changes into the visualization okay you can explore guys these things okay nothing to change it over here data label data label uh, yeah none no what we want auto okay it's uh, 15 million that's fine okay then uh, okay let's increase the font size yeah it's font size then font size of course its color must be this yeah this is that color and um, i think i have changed this font family as well okay or arial black or we can simply go for arial um this must be this yeah same evolved okay then which is the next thing we want 15 millions i don't need this votes over here i don't know whether you can see this or not but here the little things is vote just below it so keep the category as of so i remove that and uh, its background color is little uh, yellowish so we need to change that of course it's first of all it's title title these are the words title total votes so total votes done total votes is here mm, yeah that's done that's done that's done background background is little yellowish Okay. Done. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, looking good. Yes. Perfect. What else we want? No, nothing else. So total votes is here. Total votes is here. Now let's just copy and paste this. What is the next visualization? average rating so again first of all change the title average rating okay so an average rating so so i don't need words over here i want the ratings over here hey 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 you need to take care of these things so i got the rating as blank why it happen so let's check our data so in my data in the red column it's 41 slash 5 and what is this data type so beta let's transform the data so let's find the column rate its data type is text okay so i want its data type must be into the number format 
okay so how can we do this so go to this data type and its data type must be in decimal number format it gives me an error okay so why this happen okay so change data type will not work so first of all i need to extract this 41.5 slash 5 so i just want this 41.5 how can we do this just select the column and uh, over here you can see that uh, where is the extract column transform extract what we want we want extract before delimiter and what's our delimiter that's nothing but a slash done now it looks good now i can change it to decimal type perfect now here are certain red line over here okay so 4% error rate let's remove it oh, how can we remove this home remove error yeah it looks good now let's close and apply yeah we need to do this many times average rating is 2 average rating is 2 mm, what we want average rating 3.17 okay that looks good okay average rating yeah hey 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 minimum of rate we don't want this we want average so average rating is 4 done uh, anything else that's nothing but average rating is done and then this is the top 10 restaurant into the column chart yeah so okay 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 so this thing is done i think i have given it so much space okay this is my average bill amount these are my total votes This is my average rating and now the next thing that I want is nothing but a column chart so here I want a column chart yeah and in column chart what we want okay so in column chart let me just okay so in column chart definitely i don't want the values as an approximate cost okay so this column chart column chart is according to the rating okay okay or according to number of votes okay so so column chart on axis what we want the top 10 restaurant so restaurant names i want okay okay so restaurant names i want and as per their total votes okay so these are the number of restaurants okay but what i want well, let's change it uh, certain things so top 10 restaurant so my title must be top 10 Top ten restaurant. Hey, 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 hey. Hmm. Yeah, top ten restaurant, but this is not a top ten restaurant. There are so many restaurants over here. So we need to take care of this filter tab over here. So here I need to filter names and in the names I want top how much? Top ten restaurant. So top ten restaurants and values according to number of votes okay where is according to the sum of votes and let's apply the filter so here you can see that a top 10 restaurant okay so top 10 restaurants are looking good but what's the problem okay i want this color and uh, this must be in white color okay so of course we need to take care of 
format tab okay and this is good on x axis okay on x axis around the colors in white okay and it's readable perfect yeah Mm, do you want okay we can keep it to a black color okay that's fine on y axis what we want okay again color must be white okay that looks good okay that's fine it's fine then what is this title is on title is perfect mm. okay we don't need this grid line actually or we can keep it on so guys this is up to you 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 can you can make more beautiful dashboard than this i just i just don't want to make a uh, take your much of time okay so you can explore the things from here okay done okay so it looks good now and these are the top 10 restaurant part is done okay so guys yeah now this part is done now what do we want what is this this is nothing but a slicer again but don't forget this two these two are uh, again a uh, what we want again a uh, cards okay so i just copy this and paste it and paste it over here and what we want in this card online or offline Hey, these two are not cards. It looks like a card, but it's a slicer, guys. It's not a card. It's a slicer. So, so this is a slicer. Okay, on slicer, I don't want votes, but what I want, I want online order. Okay, so online order, yes or no? The name is online underscore order. Let's make certain changes. Title must be online sorry 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 online underscore order yeah done um, okay that looks good okay um, okay let's make certain more changes items uh, its font color must be white okay then its background transparency uh, transparency is 100 percent this will look good and items font size in let's increase font size okay and uh, what else we want uh, slicer heading we don't need this yeah it looks good okay so now just copy and paste it copy and paste it and what do you want book a table okay so where is book a table online order location cuisines book a table hey what's the problem yeah book a table everything looks good and online order instead i just need to change its title hey this part is done what else is remaining okay the another slicer for these two the location 
and the cuisines first of all let's do this for the location mm. so we don't need this we need a location over here yeah location that's it that's it anything else that we need to do over here yeah not no 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 not at all okay so Okay, I'm just managing the space. Oh, 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 what happened? Okay, and let's just copy and paste it. So while copy and paste, I got to know that we forgot here the change. That's the drawback of copy and paste, but it saves my most of the time location. yeah done mm, and what we want over here this is nothing but cuisines okay and in cuisines tab i don't need location here i want the cuisines and that's it guys that's it but guys don't forget that here i can here i can select my cuisines type for example here i can select biryani as well i want this search box over here how can i get this search box in this search box just click over here and click on the search you will get the search box over here done so everything is set everything is set now what is the last thing that is remaining that's nothing but this word cloud okay so i just copy and paste it okay so I just copy and paste it and here I don't need a location what I want uh, I need a cuisines over here and uh, its title must be okay 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 its title must be see you cuisine oh, oh oh what happened what happened cuisines word cloud okay but that's not a word cloud where i have from where i can get this visual so guys click over here get more visuals and now uh, see this is the visual word cloud okay and just add it import custom visual successfully imported and now so select it and select this hey wow 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 okay and uh, just now little changes are required so it must be white it transparency is zero because yeah and done so guys now you can publish this and uh, you can make this beautiful dashboard guys do uh, guys this is our first video yeah this is our first video and now guys uh, it looks same ex uh, our dashboard looks uh, somehow similar to this particular uh, dashboard that i have made earlier okay and now this is looking like this okay now you can publish this uh, but for to publish this you must have a co corporate login okay and guys this is my first video on the projects on power bi do let me know uh, how can i improve my myself and uh, do let me know if you want a complete course on this because power bi is a huge task here i almost use uh, uh, that means here i have not used any type of coding technique okay yes in power bi we can also code certain things okay and we can make a uh, many things on this for example uh, we can make many pages over here we can make an app in power bi if you want more videos on this guide please let me know into the comment section.